Now Ryanair introduced low fares to Europe around 20 years ago. The major airlines didn't want Ryanair to succeed because it would disrupt and challenge their model that existed between the flag carriers and also the governments. Now that model was essentially to rip people off and offer limited destinations across Europe. From the outset, Ryanair has always been effective in giving passengers what they really want. The lowest fares, the widest choices of destinations and the most reliable service. This is why they've grown to become the biggest airline in Europe and an airline that will carry almost 100 million passengers this year. Now customers have never doubted the lowest fares that the airline has offered, but there have been times where customer service offered by the airline has been rough around the edges. The company has adopted the take it or leave it mentality where customers complained and it was made to seem that the airline was single-minded and they didn't really listen to their customers. In the beginning the business was slow to start with as the industry and expectations from customers were slowly changing, with some competitors being able to combine low enough fares with a higher level of service. So in 2013 Ryanair decided it was time to change and improve their customer experience to achieve an even stronger traffic growth and superior returns for their shareholders. Now at this time LCC carriers had about 30% share of the European market as the European international carriers continued to struggle and focus on long haul destinations. This was the right time to commit to some hefty orders of new aircraft and also reposition themselves with an improved level of customer service and even lower fares. Now while some airlines take years to innovate and assess areas of improvement, Ryanair moved quickly to assess areas that needed to be changed or drastically that needed to be improved. They also identified areas which didn't need to be changed such as cost. The lower fares that the airline offered, other airlines couldn't compete on that same level and the punctuality that the airline has demonstrated. So the question that needs to be asked is how did the airline achieve their current success and also become one of the biggest airlines in the world? While the repositioning of the airline as low fares made simple, centers on providing customers with a wide array of destinations, better customer service and as always, low fares. Now every business regardless of their size, status or how much money they make has to innovate in one way or another. It's a known fact that many businesses are afraid to innovate due to the way that they've been programmed and they ultimately lose their focus. Although the airline has made many mistakes during their history, they didn't make this one. They agreed their policy, their product and business changes that needed to be made and put it into a plan and executed the plan with effectiveness. They allow their customers to bring two bags on board which is something not many LCC carries offer and they also allow allocated seats and they're planning to change the interior of the cabin and new uniforms all in the hopes that these new changes will make the airline even more appealing. In the meantime they've also been adding more primary airports into their network which means that they get their schedule before any other airline and Irish passengers can now book flights for October 2019. There's no doubt about it though, demand for Ryanair continues to get stronger as each year passes. It's not really surprising considering that their load factor is 95% and their punctuality is around 90%. But if you thought that was great, then you'd be shocked to hear that the airline carries more passengers during the summer holidays compared to Air France or KLM carry throughout the whole year. They've grown the business from 81 million customers from 2014 to over 100 million in 2017 and 18. Now in this time frame, they've improved their load factor around 7% so that's an additional 14 passengers on every single flight. Now their mantra of always getting better is actually the best way of describing the airline itself. They're fast to realize areas of improvement, ambitious to deliver their best product and operating relentlessly by using digital innovation to gain a step ahead of the competition which is EasyJet. As for now however, they're keeping their focus on cost and offering the lowest fares because that's the thing that made them attractive in the first place. Now this combination has to be a great formula for success. Many airlines around the world have adopted a similar ethos of Ryanair with the emergence of LCC carriers in each continent of the world. Whether you like the airline or not, one thing is for sure that they have changed the industry as we know it today and perhaps they may even surpass Southwest Airlines.